Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with another amazing puzzle of this small series of four puzzles here all of them designed and made by Roger D in Germany these two I already solved in early episodes especially this one really blew my mind the intended solution is just brilliant however I solved it in a different way also I learned this one I solved in a different way as the intended solution but those especially this one is really a masterpiece if you haven't seen this episodes i put a link for you up here or you can check my channel page and today's episode is about number three of these four puzzles which is the so-called wasserhahn which is german and means water tap it's again made fully out of metal if i move it i can hear some noise from inside so there's probably a ball bearing or bearing ball or let's call it a steel ball to prevent any confusion or discussion in the comments there is a steel ball inside and the task of this puzzle is you need to get a drop out of the water tap that's the task i assume it's meant to get the ball the steel ball out of this water tap hose over here but who knows we're gonna find out these two were completely different than expected so I expect this one might also have some trick to solve it and this one gonna be number four the key and there's a key inside here uh, which is completely stuck and you need to release the key if you would like to see this in a future episode please let me know in the comments and I'm really looking forward now trying to solve this puzzle however before trying to get a drop out of this water tap I would like to thank NordVPN for sponsoring today's video NordVPN is an award-winning VPN provider that helps you to increase your internet safety in a very simple and reliable way. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and if turned on instead of directly connecting to the internet, your device establishes an encrypted tunnel to one of NordVPN's remote servers. You do not need to be an expert or anything, just connect with one click or even enable auto connect for zero click protection. And once you are connected, you do not need to worry about your private data and public Wi-Fi anymore. Even your real IP address and location are hidden. It even enables you to access YouTube, Netflix and social media in countries that are actually blocking those. Same for computer games or any other kind of geo-restricted services. If this is interesting to you, go to nordvpn.com slash mrpuzzle or use the code Mr. Puzzle to get a two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring my channel. And now, now I'm gonna try to get a drop of water out of this water tap after the spoiler break. So, woo, another amazing puzzle of this really, really clever puzzle series by Roger D. And the water tap, well, there is this copper pipe like thing here on the front. Looks a bit like an elephant nose. If you look at it from the side and well, what's possible to do on the thing. So this thing here can be rotated. As I mentioned in the introduction, there comes some noise from the inside. Oh, I can't screw this off. Okay, and here it gets stuck nothing happens oh oh the noise changed already it seems there's some kind of a mechanism oh i love this puzzle already because it's one of my favorite types you need to somehow learn and think and understand an inner mechanism let me just get my notebook here here we go so we're gonna draw the inner mechanisms i love that stuff and i hope you like watching me doing so here's the outline of this puzzle so let's see if this one is in let me just check what i can do Okay, there's definitely free play in this area. There's some free play in this direction and nearly no free play in this direction, okay. So it was possible when I screwed, I think this one here up, it's possible that the thing was rolling. Oh yes, oh yes. You hear this? So if I screw this, if I turn it like so and screw it out, listen. Bam. 
So there is definitely, there is somewhere here inside. I would assume down here because here's the water tap. There must be a, here's the screw. Yeah, it comes from here. And there must be some kind of a channel over here interfering with this screw. I would assume it more or less looks like so. There's this screw here. And this screw goes through this channel. So means, yeah, if I screw it up, the end of the screw will be like here. So this is position number one, this is position number two. And there is the steel ball over here. And if I hold it like so, this is easy to validate. So it's pretty predictable here. If I screw it out now to the position number two, the ball will, will just drop down somewhere. Let me just see if this also works with the second one. Not sure, let me try again. Yes. So it seems, and now the ball can run from left to right. Oh, this sound uh, very strange. You hear this? So it seems to have free play also here in the Z direction. So there is a channel going up here. Can't draw this right now. You can hear it. It's hitting something. Yeah? If I turn it over here, it's hitting something. I need to figure out if I turn it around and flip it over here. I need to understand if it's also dropping in here or maybe in another um, cube, which is somewhere here in between. No. But it seems like this one is a bit like here. So the ball, because the ball is initially. Not, not going down. Only after I tilted it a few degrees. So there must be a step. And it seems it's dropping in here because now it can roll in this direction. So, however, how to get it to the top? There must be some channel here going over here somewhere in the middle or here on the side. Okay, so now it's in between these two because if I keep it like so, I can feel it's touching both when going left and right. So I will move it up. I'll move it over here. Tighten it again. Here we go. And now... Yeah, now it's only touching this one and this one not anymore. So it's definitely somewhere here in this area. And if I move it like so, you heard this? It, there's definitely a channel up here. I will try it. Okay, and the channel goes around here. And it hits that screw. But how, how should it pass that screw? Because I can feel it. If I, if I hold it here and tilt it like so, I can feel that this steel ball is definitely hitting the screw. And therefore, I cannot pass it anymore. Just place this here in case it drops down. It will immediately fall out and I will notice it. I don't get it. I still don't get it. So again, to summarize, I move it from here over there. Then I make it past that screw. By screwing this one completely out. This one is still Still touching it. Then I run to the top. And here, no matter what I do, 
nothing is changing anymore. Now it's called up here, so in this area. But I can't leave that area. Maybe it has something to do with the tub. This is kind of loose and... I don't know. <laughs> he got me again, I think. <laughs> Sneak, another sneaky puzzle. This is a thread over here. So we can only screw it in and out. I mean, if it's like this, yeah, it would not matter if I screw it in or out. It would not help me. <gasps> Have you seen this? Oh my gosh. I can move this thing. There is no thread in here. That was the trick. That was the trick, but how is this possible? I mean, there's a thread in here and I can, oh, and this has really high friction. I can't put this, push this in easy. I don't get it. I still don't get it. I, I need to open this up. I need to open this up and I'm pretty sure you also want to see it, how this really works. Let me just get an Allen wrench. Here we go. Here we go, so... Oh! This thing is tight, man. <laughs> I'm a bit afraid I will break the screw. Okay, now... Woo! Now let's see, let's have a look inside. Okay, here we go. Let's open this thing up. I'm really interested to understand how this works. Three, two, one. And here we go. Okay, let me just have a quick look and then I'm gonna explain you how this really works. Okay, so first, I think this I got completely right here until here, but this thing here is what I couldn't explain in my theory, which really stumped me here. And now let me explain you how this is actually working because it's pretty brilliant, it's very simplistic. There's one thing in here which makes this a really remarkable puzzle, a really clever one. At first, we're gonna start here with the ball, okay? So we're gonna, we can't pass this thing here. And the first thing I did was I screwed this out. And this is possible because there is a thread down here. So means there's another thread over here. And if I close it up, you have a complete thread around this screw. And then I can just screw it up and pass the first screw. So then I screwed it in again. And I could feel this contact between the screws, if you remember. To pass the second screw, I just need to screw it up like so. And I can pass it. But the problem then, this was quickly done actually. The problem that comes next is a bigger one because I can't pass this screw here, this nut, okay? I could pass it, I can pass the screw, but I can't pass the nut, so I need to get it out of the way. And this is a very clever idea here. He implemented here two small rubber pads. Okay, so one in here, another one in here. And I was in the beginning when I saw this, I was like, why is he doing this? Yeah. Now I got it because if you take the lower and upper half like so and screw it, fix it, you will compress the two rubber pads here and down here against the screw. So you will hold it in place like so, like I'm doing it right now with my finger. And if I then screw the thing, you will only move this nut up and down. But no matter what I do, this thing here remains in place. However, up here, and this is the difference between here and here, there's no thread in here. The movement, and this is a nice way to fool you. The new movement is not coming from a thread that you screw up and down. The movement is coming from the thread in the nut, which is fixed and there you screw this one up and down. And then you need to screw it out. And due to the rubber pad down here and no thread in the housing, I can, with some force, because it's compressed between the rubber pads, I can push this one down and then the ball is able 
to pass it like so you see watch out bam and then it can get out of the water tub very very brilliant i think this is a, just a very plain simple design same as the other two but this one detail makes it very brilliant because I personally haven't seen something like this before in another puzzle and therefore it stumped me pretty hard even if you have to do or execute only three steps. Screw this one up, screw this one up, push it down again. Very simple and I will get this thing back together and demonstrate it to you one more time. Ball is down here, okay? I screw this one up until it drops. Here we go, now it's here. Now I screw this one up until it drops. I move to the upper half. And now the only thing I need to do, and this is why it's so brilliant, because I was so close to the solution, but I had no chance to discover it. I just need to push it down. Here we go. The puzzle is solved. Isn't this brilliant? I think it's a super clever puzzle. The difficulty I would rate with a level four out of a maximum of five on the personal difficulty rating skill. So Roger D, if you watch this video, you got me another time. Very, very excellent design. I really appreciate the ideas you put in your designs. Highly recommended from my side. I put a link in the video description if you would like to purchase any of these puzzles. People asking me from time to time how they could support me in my channel. Well, the best way to support me is just clicking one of my links in the video description. These are affiliate links and by buying puzzles using those links, you give me an indirect support of my channel because I got commissioned by every puzzle you buy. So this is the best way to support me if you would like to do it. That's it for today. Hope you like this episode. Hope you also like these two. And the only one left is this puzzle here, the key, which I'm gonna review in the future. That's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.